Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about the breath of God and his holy wind. During an extended time of corporate worship, we were encouraged to enter in and to ask the Lord how he would like to engage with us during this time. And God enticed me to draw closer to him. My heart responded and words flew from my fingers across my laptop keyboard because we were encouraged to express what God was speaking to us through whatever creative means that we felt led to create from. And of course, I'm an author, so my creativity comes across my keyboard. When I was done, I glanced up towards the front of the church and I noticed something, the spontaneous dance of two worshipers enthralled me. One dancer lifted the other one, allowing her partner to leap high into the air and then they reversed. So the other dancer lifted her and she was able to lift high in the air. As their worship scarves and flags entangled around each other, they drew closer. I realized something. Their dance was the physical expression of the poem that God had just created with me on my laptop. And I knew God was calling us all his beloved to his heart. And there was a corporate sense, but there was also an individual sense that we were being called. Jeremiah 31 verse 3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. And this is the poem that the Lord helped me to create. And remember, I wasn't looking up at the front. My fingers were on the keyboard. And I entitled it, Holy Wind. Holy Wind, whipping around me, tugging at my tattered rags, entangling me in your wild passion, immobilizing my ability to evade you. Your crimson cord compels me to stay, captured by your love. Lifted by your wind, I am carried into the heavenlies, riding across your plains, seeing far into your horizon. Yet, in one whispered gust, I am tossed as playfully as a feather is blown in the air. By a single breath, you remind me that I am yours to bless and yours to kiss with your holy kiss. O holy wind, lover of my soul, carry me away. That sort of intimacy isn't just for a few. In the last few devotions, we've been talking about div developing a good character, obeying the Lord, listening for his directions, etc. But if that foundation of knowing that God desires to be in an intimate relationship isn't there, then all the rest is just kind of like a character development program where we're learning uh, how to behave in our walk with the Lord, but we're not really dealing with our heart issues. And the only way we can deal with the things that are in our heart is by allowing him close enough that we can trust him with those areas of our heart that needs that reminder, that needs to be reminded that we are his and he created us just to 
he bless us. So allow him to kiss you with his holy kiss. Allow the holy wind, the Holy Spirit, the lover of your soul to carry you away into the secret place today.